guys, so this video is going to be a quick look check of my natural hair. As you can see, it's not curly, it's not in its natural state, it is straightened. I got a silk and wrap last week, July 16th, 2014. I've been natural for approximately seven months. I did the big chop January 18th. 2014 so yeah I'm excited about that but the initial reason why I got my hair silk and wrap is because I've been long overdue for trim you guys for a good trim I haven't had a trim since like before I went natural so definitely overdue for that so I got that done and also I wanted to get a more accurate length uh, measurement when I measured my hair. FYI, you guys, you do not need to straighten your hair to get, you know, to measure your hair. All you have to do is pull out your hair when it's in its natural state, pull it taut, and then just measure it from there. Um, so just let you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just did a silk and wrap because it was the first time for me. It was a new experience. I've never had that done before. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just try it. Um, however, I don't know if I liked it. Because the initial style of the hair was really nice. It was silky, flowy, and all that jazz. When I stepped out of the salon, it was wonderful. It was very reminiscent of how I used to have my relaxed hair. However, it's been raining, like, nonstop here. So it was very humid outside. So, like, a couple of days after I got my hair done, I started poofing up and swelling. Like, I could just step outside for, like, two seconds and just have my hair shrink up and shrivel and poof up, the ends will poof up. So I didn't really too much like that because I mean I paid money to have my hair straightened and I wanted the style to last as long as possible. But I mean such is life, things happen. So I mean I got over it. So <laughs> and also I believe I sweat in my sleep so it made my hair poof up even more. And I you guys it's been approximately three years since I've wrap my hair since I have my hair straight so I didn't know how to wrap my hair like I forgot how to wrap my hair so I was like I know I need a part here and then wrap it like that but it wasn't working so maybe it was just you know use an error that my hair wasn't as looked as good as it was because I didn't wrap it as well I don't know but um I don't think I'll be doing any silk wraps or straighten styles on my natural hair anytime soon maybe another six months from now or a year from now we'll see but um yeah if you live in a human area silk wraps are not your friend so <laughs> with that being said and done I'm going to head over to the bathroom and measure my hair um, with this measuring tape right here and see how much my hair has grown. Actually, I, I don't know. I don't have initial um, hair length because silly me, when I did the big chop in January, I did not measure the length of my hair. So I don't know how much my hair has grown since January until now. So this would be my first length check. So I'm excited about that. So like I said, I'm going to head over to the bathroom and measure my hair. So stay tuned. So the stylist at the salon cut off a good inch of my hair. The longest length of my hair was down to my, below my clavicle bone. Um, but now it's like dusting my shoulders, which is fine. It's hair will grow back, so no worries. But yeah, she cut off a good inch because I had a lot of split ends. Um, I'm also going to be using the ruler instead of the measuring tape that I had in the other video um, because I couldn't get an accurate grasp of the measuring tape because it kept falling on my hand and with the ruler it was solid and sturdy so I'm just going to be using a ruler I know it's probably not conventional but oh well I'm just getting you know a gist of measuring my hair so I'm measuring in five different places I measured at the top of my head which is approximately six and a half inches right now and I'm going to measure in the crown of my head on the side, two sides, left, right of my head. And then in the back, left, right of my head as well. You'll see. It'll make more sense in the video <laughs> than when I'm talking. So right now I'm measuring the crown of my head. I look very serious. Very, very serious. <laughs> but yeah, with the ruler, I'm placing it directly onto my scalp to try to get as accurate as possible. Um, so the length of that, the crown of my hair is 7 inches, approximately 7 inches, not to be exact, but yeah, the 7 inches. So the front part of my head was 6 inches and the crown was 7. Now I'm going to be measuring the sides of my head. If I can get that piece to fly over, yeah. But yeah, I'm happy that I got my inch trim. Like I said, I haven't had my inch trim since before I went natural. 
um, even when I have relaxed hair. I didn't really take care of my hair, y'all. Um, that's approximately seven inches, maybe seven and a quarter, something like that. Yeah. Okay, let me just say seven inches. Seven inches. <laughs> seven inches, y'all. But yeah, I didn't really take much care of my hair. Um, so I didn't get regular trims. I didn't do much to my hair. I just got a relaxer and that was it. So, eh. I'm trying to do better with my hair. Do better with it because my 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 hair goal is to be bra strap length. And yeah. So this is going to be on the right side of my head. And that is actually 8 inches. Surprisingly, it's 8 inches. That's interesting. And I'm being clumsy, dropping the ruler. <laughs> now I'm going to be measuring the back of my head. I'm going to clip that the rest of my hair up and measure the back of it. So yeah, you guys, comment down below and tell me if you've gotten a silken wrap and if you have, how long did your silken wrap last? Like, mine just poofed up like literally the next day, so, and that's because it was very humid outside. But yeah, how long does your silken wrap normally last? The lady said it would last like three weeks, but it's clearly been a week and it's not working. So that's like six and a half inches, almost six and a half inches. And I'm gonna go and measure the back side of my left side of my head now. But yeah, um, my sister, she gets silken wraps all the time and her hair is gorgeous. But um, hers lasts so much longer than mine. So, But she also lives in Virginia. So I don't know if it's the area where I live in. And that's approximately, approximately seven inches, almost seven inches. So yeah. So that's just pretty much my hair length. I measured it. Um, gonna put my hair in a ponytail. Um, let's see, I got a little hang time, you guys. I actually noticed that my hair has grown because when I have my hair in my corn rolls, my gel braids, aka gel braids, um, I have hang time. So I was really excited when I had hang time. I was like, yay, I can't wait to straighten my hair. I got hang time. Yeah. So that's my hair in a ponytail. I'm really excited. I hope that I can, you know, maintain my length because that's my main issue. I always have bad retention rate. And like I said, I want to have bra strap hair, bra strap hair, bra strap length hair. So that's my goal. And I need to work on my edges. I've never really had edges like that, you guys. Even when I was young, like a baby baby, or when I had relaxed hair, I never really had edges. So I'm trying to work on that, massage it, put some, you know, essential oils on it. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So yeah, stay tuned to my other natural hair videos. Um, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Yay!